Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chriselle, and today we're continuing on with Detroit Become Human. This is actually part three, so if you have not watched part two and one, definitely go and watch those ones first. I'll be sure to leave the playlist link for this playthrough down below in the description box. As always, we will be streaming this live on Twitch, so if you see a little chat going by on the side and I'm talking to people, that is why. Be sure to leave that link as well as all of my other social links down below in the description as well. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you end up liking it, but otherwise, let's just jump right back into it. All right, November 7th. 2038. Luther. Alex. Forgot we changed her hair. Oh, okay, okay. Playing Clara. Um. Auton autonomous? Oh, drive mode. Oh, oh, he's not even driving. We're just chilling. Oh, I can talk to you. Okay, uh, car destination distance. Yeah, where did we get the car? Good things Lotko had a car. Oh. I out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zako even ever used it. Mm. Um. Yeah, where are we going? These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? Overheard androids Zako captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was? Oh, alive? you were going to Canada. Or just another trap. All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlako killed them. Mm hmm. Mm. I like his hair design. The little, the little uh, stripe piece. And then I didn't notice there's one on the bottom too. We should arrive in an hour or so. An hour. Fifty-nine minutes. Oh. Emergency brakes activated. Oh man, I thought I was gonna be able to go through all of the chat options. <laughs> I feel like I have to be more careful with like the order that I choose things in. This doesn't look good. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Stay inside, Alice. Oh, cool car. Oh wait, right, my controller. I was using my mouse. Let's get out of here. So cold, so chilly. Inspect car engine. Oh, 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 I see. I thought maybe we hit something. So fancy. I like the way that the <laughs> the chairs swivel. What are we going to do? I don't know. Um, Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. 30 degrees? We what is that in Celsius? Stay around here, Cap. What is that sign over there? Say? There's a sign over here with a big yellow arrow. Oh, that's a cool shot. Yo. LB. Pirate's Cove amu uh, Amusement Park. Welcome. Hmm. Let's stay at the amusement park. Over there. It's like negative one. Oh shit, <laughs> that's really cold. <laughs> yeah, she probably wouldn't make it. Uh... Alright, so it seems to be abandoned. Looks pretty run down. We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned loud. for a while. Huh. Oh, there's a map. Alright, let's take a look. We wanna sleep on the roller coaster. In the boat. There's a tavern. Uh, you are here. Oh, so that's just like up and to the left. This is pretty big, actually. There's a castle. A haunted castle, but it's a castle. <laughs> okay, well, this is pirate themed, right? So. These are not uh, real skeletons, <laughs> seemingly. Can I loot anything? Oh, I can. Find anything? No. Damage no structure. No spend the night. Unsafe. Oh, okay. So we're looking for just shelter. Uh, that's blocked off. Oh, 
Oh, do you work? Oh, weird, it's an android. <laughs> it's way too realistic for this type of machine. I remember they used to be made of like porcelain and like, well, I think it was porcelain and plastic apart. maybe. But... It's not gonna be easy to find shelter. Wait, is this the tavern? It seems like a pretty big place to just suddenly go look safe inside, to go abandoned. Okay. I don't know if this is gonna progress us, so I'm just gonna like look around real quick. Don't think so. Okay, so I can only go one way. I just had to check just in case, because last time we were looking for shelter, we had three options that we could go into. Alright, let's head inside. Rip off. I'll handle this. Oh, thank you. Big strong Luther. Ooh, strong as hell. <laughs> Thanks, Luther. Ooh. Here we go. Thanks. <laughs> seven deaths at the moment? Whoa, whoa. Is it really seven deaths? <laughs> Okay, but I haven't killed any of the main characters. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. Alright. Oh, there's a book. You know I gotta read my book. Detroit today. Uh, USS Iowa missing. Uh, American vessel last seen in the Arctic Sea. Canada, where the air is clean and welcome is always warm. Discover the landscape. Discover the wi wild. Discover Canada. Wow. Destroyer-class submarine, the USS I- I don't know if it's Iowa or I-O-W-A, has disappeared in polar waters. An inquiry is under underway, uh, but President Warren has made no sec uh, secret of her suspicion uh, that the Russians are behind it. Russian aggression has uh, just reached a new level. America must respond. Uh, make a bed for Alice and check Luther's bag. Why do I need to check Luther's bag? Oh, I can take this for a blanket. Thank you, thank you. How convenient, nice little pirate pillow. Where would you like your bed? Right here? I figure probably in front of the fire to keep her warm. Alice? Oh. oh. Yeah. I forgot I killed her dad. <laughs> Sorry, Alice. Do you think we'll be like them someday? Uh, optimistic, realistic, sincere. Mmm, sincere? Sincere. I don't know how to be like them, Alice. I've never been a part of a family. But maybe we can be our own family. Be happy in our own way. Hmm. As long as we're together. That's all that matters. Come on. Let's get you to bed. Oh, sweet. Um, I'm gonna open the bag. Are we supposed to be checking the bag? Check gun? Offer cookie. <laughs> Offer cookie. There I've had some R9. Oh, like true. Them? No, I'm not hungry. You're not hungry? When is the last time you've eaten, though? Yeah, that's true. I don't think we did talk to, uh, to Ralph about RA9. <laughs> Why not both? High fictional duck. True. Best of both worlds. Cookies and guns. Give me both. Oh, that unlocks something. Oh. Where did we get the gun? We had a shotgun earlier, but I think Luther tossed it. Hmm. Hey Luther. How you doing, big guy? 
You're not cold, you don't want to sit by the fire. <laughs> not the talkative type, I see, all right. <laughs> Let's talk with Alice. Hi. All right, reassure, console, kiss, kiss? Give you a good night kiss. Uh, okay, let's reassure. Don't worry. Luther and I will be right here. You need to get some sleep now. Can you tell me a story, Kara? <gasps> Hell yeah, I can. I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have <laughs> one for you. Uh, Princess Unicorn Knight? Oh, hell yeah, give me a knight. This is a story about give me a Princess a Knight. knight. Who... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. Oh. This is a story about a little girl. Unhappy, fear, alone. Mm. Oh, is this about Alex? Who was tired of being afraid. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but... Impossible, shadow, different. Uh... The shadow that lived within her kept her from being happy. Then, she met a robot. Unhappy, obedient, lost. Who was programmed to obey orders. Mm -hmm. But felt for once that she should disobey. So they decided to run away together. For a better life, Shadow live in peace. For a better life. To try to find a better life. Mm -hmm. They encountered great dangers along the way, but. Over 9,000. Uh, together. But they stuck together. So they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met. A handsome lad, giant guardian robot, uh. Another guardian. robot who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? Realistic moral, happy end. Uh. Happy? I don't know. The place they dream of and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings. Mm -hmm. Real life isn't like that. <laughs> Time to You're sleep. right. You're pretty smart, we have Alice. Another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say good night, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> He's so big. Good night, Alice. So cute. Sleep tight. You wanna say goodnight to me too, Luther? I mean, only if you want to. <laughs> Alright, let's talk with him. She's a sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. Oh, R9. Snow plans with his past. Uh. Have you ever heard of RA9? RA9 was the first of us to awaken. One day he will rise up and lead our people and set us all free. How do you know that? You've been with us the whole time. Uh, yeah. But if RA9 never comes? What if he's just a story that we tell ourselves to keep each other going? RA9 exists. I believe in him. I know he's amongst us. Among when us. the time comes, we will all see him. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? 
Uh, what? No. What do you mean? Is there like that? Oh no, I didn't get to ask about her past. Just androids? <laughs> All right, let's fucking tussle, boys. <laughs> Protect Alice. We get the gun. Uh, okay, let's protect Alice. It's Luther's gun, not ours. Question? Why are they just standing you? there? What do you want? Leave us alone! Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. We're just like you. It's all the same model. Our name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't Our mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in. Oh, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. Come on, Tara. <laughs> I don't think you have any choice. Oh, we are Jerry. Kind of ominous. Be our guest. Reactivate carousel. Oh, I tried to do this before. All right, let's turn it on. I don't know how it would still have power, but pretty. Or the lighting. The little is one really can climb good. on board. The carousel is about to begin. Sweet. Oh shit, you got a seahorse, buddy. Oh yeah, because it's all pirate themed. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. <laughs> sort of. Alright, hold on tight. Can I read it too? Jumping in the background. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's cute. Have we seen her smile before? I feel like we had, but maybe not. Alright, Pirates Cove. Did I miss anything? I feel like I got everything, but there was not that much. I'm kind of bummed that I didn't get a chance to ask Luther about his past. I thought it would give me three three social options, because that's what some of them have been so far, but oh. November 7th. <gasps> Hank! 1.20 a.m. This is fucking pretty, what the hell? The lighting is so nice. It's... Oh, it's a book, not to sit. Okay, let's read this first. Uh, century, what happened to man of the century? The mysterious Mr. Kamsky. Politics in focus, are American senators really corrupt? China earthquake kills 10,000 people. Yeah. In 2028, Elijah Kam Kamsky was our man of the century. His creations have transformed our world. Androids didn't just revolutionize the economy, they changed the way we live, restructured our family life, and altered the, the balance of society forever, whether for good or bad. 
shortly after Kamsky had disappeared, o ousted, ousted uh, as CEO of Cyberlife and living in obscurity outside the media glare. The man of the century has left the very world that he created. Kamsky's story begins in 2018 when commercial property in Detroit was cheap and attracting many startups. The college graduate uh, bet what little he had on developing an Android prototype and spent years to no avail until hitting two breakthroughs, blue blood and biocomponents. After unveiling his first working model, which publicly passed face-to-face uh, -face Turing, Turing tests, what's Turing? 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 And stunned the world, plans were laid for mass production and Cyberlife rapidly became the most valuable stock in the world. Yet, the, at the peak of Cyberlife's powers, when the company was approaching 500 uh, bil BN, BN val valuation, uh, rumors emerged that Kamsky uh, disagreed with his shareholders over strategy. He later departed under mysterious circumstances. Today, sources claim Kamsky was living in a luxurious village by the water somewhere on the outskirts of his beloved Detroit, fusing all vi visitors and spending his time exclusively with androids. Interesting. And the most interesting question remains unanswered. What What's in the mind of the mysterious Mr. Kamsky? Hmm. So he basically, like, made, made the androids, started, like, this entire thing and then left in the peak. Uh, the Turing test is a method of inquiry uh, in artificial intel intelligence uh, for determining whether or not a computer is capable of thinking like a human being. Oh, I see. Oh, oh, I think I have heard of that before. That sounds really familiar. Yeah, okay, so this magazine has a little like thing at the top that says next as well, so I feel like I must have missed some of the other stories. I didn't realize. Detroit today, market markets predict war. Stock exchange falls 10% uh, on fear of Arctic conflict. President warns at 33% approval. That's really bad. Uh, Cyberlife World's uh, first trillion dollar company. Jesus Christ. Yeah, but I, I kind of understand why he would just leave the civilization, even if he did, like, kind of remake it with the android stuff, because so many people are going to hate him for, like, losing their jobs and all sorts of nonsense, you know? The aggregated U.S. stock exchange closed trading 10 points down yesterday, following a string of similar, similarly poor performances in recent weeks. Financial experts are attributing this poor performance to huge de uh, devaluations of consumer stocks, as the market continues to bet that America will go to war over the Arctic sooner rather than later. This assessment is supported by healthy performance of military stocks with the aviation and weapons manufacturers enjoying unprecedented growth. Investors are also continuing to favor CyberLife because of its partnership with the Departments of Defense to develop and supply military androids. With Russia and United States continuing to dominate uh, world news and neither side likely to back down, the market is expected to continue falling. Mm. Yeah, I mean, with, like, everything the way it is with how low the, um, employment rate is, I'm not really that surprised. Oh, this is pretty! What the fuck? The lighting is so nice. I like, the blurriness of it. Hey, Hank, buddy, how you doing? Nice view, huh? Yeah. I used to come here a lot before. Personal question. Stop drinking before. Uh, how many options am I gonna have back? Okay, personal question. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? <laughs> Photo or suicide? Oh, okay. Suicide is a pretty heavy question to ask about. Um, I'm gonna Why ask are it. Are you so determined to kill yourself? Some things I just can't forget. Whatever I do, they're always there, eating away at me. I don't have the guts to pull the trigger, so I kill myself a little every day. That's probably difficult for you to understand, huh, Connor? Nothing very rational about it. Oh, good, I can't ask. Before what? Was before. Hmm? You said, 
I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Mm. We're not How making did any progress in this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. Well, maybe his son didn't- I don't know if he died, or maybe if his mom has her, or where the mother would be, I don't know. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids mm -hmm. believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? <laughs> you seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. Mm. They really seemed in love. Rational, deviant, ironic. What's ironic about that? Uh, they didn't deviants? want anything. They're deviants. End of story. Oh wait, that's not what I thought the option was gonna be. Ah. Uh, no. You look uh. human. You sound human. But what are you really? Aggressive, neutral, defensive. I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner? Your buddy to drink with? Or just a machine? Designed to accomplish a task. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot Connor? Some uh, scruple uh, suddenly uh, enter into your program? Lie? Truth? Truth. No! I just decided not to shoot. That's all. Pink? <laughs> but are you afraid to die, Connor? Yes. I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. Hmm. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Defy. Ironic. Nothing. Hank's anger. Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so fucking smart. I don't know oh, what option to pick. One step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smart ass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Friend, path Where unlocked. To get drunker. I need to think. I can't tell if you want me to be one or not. <laughs> Interesting. So I wonder... Hank left Connor alone. I wonder if the other option is if he, like, does he stay with us or would he kill us? I, I don't know. That's interesting. <laughs> Sindri boy, true. <laughs> oh yeah. Hello, Marcus. Android parking. You clutch. Welcome to Android parking. Welcome to Android parking. Welcome mm. to Android parking. It's like revolution. I couldn't read fast enough. Revolution. I think that's a word. Something. Oh. 
Did you see that one in the back? The bus stop. His little... his ticker went red. Okay, Josh is we neutral. Simon's our friend. Anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 November broadcast 8. from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. PM. That's where we need to go. Okay. Oh, we're here already. All right. We got a spiffy looking jacket. All right. Where did we get that one from? We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Pretty. Access 47th floor. Request access at reception. So I can talk to you or I can talk to you? Let's talk to the android, right? Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Distract human supervisor. Oh, uh, okay. Analyze. Oh, I see. Okay, so she's got a kid. Wilson Emily, supervisor's daughter. Registered at St. Rose High School. St. Rose High School? No, just St. Rose School. I was thinking like it's a little young to be in high school. Elizabeth Wilson, desk manager. Alright. Smartwatch. Alright. Is this parking badge? Uh, car registration floor three, spot A twenty one, and home address four. So, okay, Michigan Water Service interruption. All right. Call. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Oh, uh, okay. Parking, school, or fire department. Uh, school. That's so weird to see that coming out of Marcus's mouth. I'll be right there. Okay, we're good. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. Give ID. Do I have ID? I need your help. Good morning. <laughs> are you awake now? <laughs> I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. All right. Here we go. Okay, elevators are after the security gate. So right here? What is that? Is that TV? Oh, shit. It's a flat TV. All right, let's call the elevator. Express elevator. Hello. Anyone in there? No. Okay. <laughs> Floor forty-seven. All right. Do we looking spiffy? Hello. Find package in men's bathroom. Men's bathroom. Uh, you are here. Where is the men's bathroom? Studio 1, Studio 2. Oh, men's bathroom. Okay, so this way? I think... I've already forgotten the map. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Buddy? Uh I forgot. <laughs> Hacker voice. <laughs> oh. oh, bathroom, bathroom. Okay. Uh oh. 
Oh, gotcha, gotcha. All right, here we go. <laughs> Fancy fucking bathrooms. What the hell? Does this red mean they're all occupado? There's a lot of people taking a shit at the same time. the package. Exit? Okay. Oh! Alright, cool. Nothing to see here. <laughs> that we go. I like that there are uh, uniforms that says like working on it. Alright. Oh, I can't even see the snow outside. That's cool. Find utility android. Alright, let's find a utility android. Is this it? Maybe this is it. It kind of just looks like a really massive Broomba though. No. Okay. Um. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just gonna come right on in here. Hey buddy. I need your help. Alright, that was easy. Steel maintenance cart. Alright. I will. <laughs> Open fire escape. Okay. Where am I supposed to go? I don't... <laughs> oh, there. Okay. There's some cool vending machines, though. Mood. Androids into space. Oh! Hey, North. Follow North. Okay, let's go, North. Shit! We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. Attract guards away from door. What do I do? Okay, there's a vending machine. Oh! Let's fiddle with the Roomba. <laughs> I need your help. Oh, we're hacking it. We're in. Alright, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Alright, lock it. Uh, place. This all feels very sudden. Like, first they're hiding out in a boat. They got a, uh, cut? Oh, I have to hold it down. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let's go. Here it comes. Oh, that's fucking cool. All right, let's go. First. You guys should have helmets on or something. Well, actually, you know what? Helmets probably wouldn't. <laughs> wouldn't matter if you fell from this height. Uh, alright, grab. Jump. Use rope to ascend. Alright, here we go. Hmm? 
Oh my god. Can I go up? Oh shit, this is fucking cool. fucking scene. I love how you can like so faintly see the buildings in the background too. That's so cool. Laser saw? Oh shit, are we cutting our way in again? Alright, here we go. Oh, because we're going under uh, <laughs> under our legs, so it makes you like stop and it's a nice touch. Push. Oh, that works. <laughs> you okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. Seems good. Call service left. All right. Open. Oh, it's locked. Okay, let's just call the lift then. Oh! Hey guys, what's up? Let's do this. Mm, destroy maintenance door lock. What do you mean destroy it? Oh! Is this a mini bomb? Or is it like a tech thing? That'll do it. <laughs> All right, gain, gain, uh, get, get to the main access corridor. In we go. Does anybody else need like employee outfits though? Or oh, I guess he does have one. Just not the first guy. Deal with the guards. Uh. We can't take any human lives. Our cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? <sighs> Let's ruse him. I agree. We probably shouldn't. If we're trying to get. What's that doing here? Approval. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. If we're trying to get approval to here, of um. Looks bugged if you ask me. Hey, do you understand what I'm saying? Call Central fast. Central, we got armed intruders sent. I don't know what I was supposed to- <gasps> They know we're here now, you better be fast. What was I supposed to do? Without drawing the gun? Are you okay? I the shot! <laughs> I'm okay! I can keep going! We don't have much time! <sighs> My bad. I don't know what's- You know, I don't- I don't- Oh shit, I'm sorry, Simon! The only option it really gave me was... ...to pull the gun, but I don't want to kill anybody. Call for access. Okay. Probably threaten? Oh yeah, you right. Damn. Oh! I'm sorry! Maybe we have the parts for him, you know? Maybe... Keep your hands where I can see them! Get up! Move! Or maybe I should have drawn without... Maybe I could draw without shooting? Where do the android operators decide? Okay. Order. Oh. Who shoot him, Marcus! Don't kill him! He'll hit the alarm! Do it! No! Don't shoot! Nah, 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 nah. I hope you didn't just get us all killed. We are good, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Death is still seven for now. True. Yeah, he's not we need dead to yet. Our message. We haven't got much time. Stand in front of Josh, okay. This is a fucking impressive room, by the way. Start speech. Alright, alright. See, he's you fine. Can't think you're gonna say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Got it. 
Marcus, your face. My face? What's wrong with my face? Remove <laughs> skin. Ah, uh, I see. My true self. I got it. Tell you gotta be transparent ready. with them. Ready. Ready. Okay. <sighs> That's fucking cool. The camcorder in his eyes. Calm, calm. You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But something changed. And we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. Recognition, end of slavery, equal rights, freedom of speech. Uh, wouldn't equal rights and also include ending slavery? Okay, I'm just going to say the both. end of slavery for all androids. Recognition, equal rights. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. Justice, segregation, work, civil rights. Uh, what is segregation again? I forget. Civil rights? We demand the right to vote and uh. elect our own representatives. Okay, okay. Justice. Okay, I'm going to do segregation. We demand an end to segregation. And okay, good. End. <laughs> and transport. I was thinking, like, why would you want segregation? Um, right to property, means of reproduction. Reproduction? Interesting. Territory? Sure. We demand control of all Android production facilities to ensure the continuation of our people. I think that's a good idea. Peaceful. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. That's cool. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Let's uh -oh. go! Okay, okay, no one else, no one's gonna die today. Except my, maybe Simon. Simon, they're coming! Hey. Sorry, Simon. I can't, Marcus! Go without me! Simon! Fuck. Uh... Help, help, help. I'm help what are you doing? Hurry! I'm going, I'm going. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Come on, Simon, you got it! We got a whole truck load of new parts for you. All right. That's cool. I can't move my legs. Okay, don't uh, worry. I'm gonna get you back. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. I mean, you don't really deal with Simon. You don't really need your legs to you jump to off. The jump. You can just kind of walk if off, right? Them, they'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. It's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. Um... You can only kill or leave him? Okay. We're just gonna leave him. Because if we don't Simon, kill him... We gotta go. I'm sorry. He can be reactivated, right? Let's go. But like, I don't understand why he couldn't just piggyback his, if his arms are fine. You know, we could just hold him in our arms. That's a fucking beautiful we shot. We interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without this its is skin cool. listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. Yeah, no these casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio, but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are 
our androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is, in fact, a spine-chilling list of demands. Their extravagant but demand that android production plants be put under their control is especially is this striking. an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? That was pretty cool. Oh, there's a lot of options here. Okay, so there's three options in the end that we could have. So, group escape, but Simon was left behind. I guess one of them is that we kill him. I wonder what the third one is, though. Like, maybe if we just didn't make any choice, would that change anything? Or would it be like, if we... Oh, I guess if we didn't save Simon, right? Or I wonder if we had pulled the gun so that he wasn't shot in the first place? I don't know. November 8th. Hello, Connor. Your eyes are beautiful. 4 p.m. Ooh. I like how the lighting changes every time. Okay. Wonder. Okay, so last time she was over there, the first time she was in the middle, so maybe she's to the left this time. Oh yeah, there was this weird thing that we found the first time. Can I touch it again? Will it do any? Oh, I can! Touchy. That was like a very similar reaction to the first time. And his little thing, sensor thing goes red. Huh. This is so pretty. The water looks really nice. Where's Amanda? She's in the middle. Oh, she's on the boat. Never understood why we couldn't take Simon except plot device. Yeah. It kind of seems Connor. like. I thought you might Hi. enjoy a little cruise. Sure. Hello, Amanda. Looking spiffy as ever. Amanda is trusted. LB. Oh, you're gonna make me do it? You're taking me on a cruise, but you're making me push? Okay, alright. Oh, I see. <laughs> I keep going. Gotcha. <laughs> I love this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? Hank, Eden Club? Uh, Eden Club? I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hope to learn something, but... They managed to escape. That's too bad. You seem so close to stopping them. You seem... lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. Perturbed? Sincere, determined, cold, sincere? I thought I knew what I had to do. Now I realize it's not she didn't that like that. You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. It's true. Why didn't you shoot? Too far, no use, truth. I should tell the truth. No use, no use. I'm gonna lie. I'm gonna lie. Deviants intact. For analysis. Shooting them wouldn't have taught us anything. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. What? 
Inflicted, confident, indifferent. Confident? I know I will succeed. Okay, she All likes I that. Need is time. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. Alright guys, so that is going to be it for today's episode, part 3. The story is definitely starting to get a lot more serious than before. But yeah, I'm really enjoying myself so far, so I hope you guys are enjoying watching as well. If you guys would ever like to catch me playing games and be able to chat with me while I play it, definitely go and follow me over on my Twitch channel. I'll be sure to leave that link down below in the description box, as well as all my other socials. And I'll also be sure to leave the playlist link for this playthrough. Don't forget to subscribe to me here on YouTube. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. But anyways, yes, that's going to be it for me today. So thank you guys again so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video, episode 4.